Dear Cyber Sue, we're going to talk about being ready for a relationship. So many people think they are ready for a relationship. They're frustrated because they don't get to meet people or they do meet people, but they don't know how to actually be in a relationship. So what I want to talk about is make sure that when you say that you're ready to be in, in a partnership with somebody, that you're ready to nurture that relationship. Because a lot of us are busy. We got things going on. We got careers. We're going to school. We got all sorts of stuff, but we don't want to be alone. So we think the best thing for us is to be in a relationship at the same time. So how's that going to work for you? If you've got all this stuff going on in your life, you're so busy, you can barely even keep up with your job and everything else going on. And then you add a relationship to the mix. You're not going to have time to give to that person. You're not going to have time to nurture it the way it should be looked after. So you're sort of setting yourself up for a little bit of a problem here. So I really sit, want you to sit down and think about what a relationship means to you. Does it mean, oh, I can come and go as I please, and then my partner just has to kind of come in when I'm available and ready to see them? or? Can I actually make this work that I can have the best of both worlds here? I have a great job. I have all sorts of activities I love to do. And I have a great relationship that is working well. Because it's very hard to do it all. And we all think we can do that. And that's the big problem. It's not that you're not worthy of a great relationship. It's a lot about timing. It's about when you can fit things into your life, when they can fit you into their life. So when you have a reciprocated relationship with somebody, it's because you're on the same page with your thinking. You're on the same page with your timing. You're on the same page with things that are important to you, where you want to go in your future. Because if you're not ready to be in a relationship, don't waste somebody else's time who thinks you are because you're telling them you're ready but you're putting off a different sort of you know, situation to them. And they're feeling like they're just a piece of your life. They don't feel like they're a big priority. So no matter how much you might think you're ready to be in a, a long-term commitment with somebody, really put it down on paper if you have to and put down the things that will make it work for you, things that are gonna be a problem for you and see if it is a good fit. Maybe you need some more time to get all these other things accomplished that you want to in your life. Don't bring somebody in when there's only part of you available to give to them. This is just a short video today. I just wanted to put that out there for everybody because I think there's a lot of people out there that are wasting other people's time thinking that they're in a, a place of wanting to be in a partnership when they're really not. So it's not a bad thing. You don't have to be in a relationship. Just make sure when you do tell somebody you're ready that you can actually follow through and nurture it and make them feel like they are in a partnership with you. Thanks everyone. Thanks for listening to Dear Cyber Sue. Please keep subscribing to my channel. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.